love when folks stop by Harris Farm and Barry Scott stopped by today. Hey Barry, come on in. I need you to help me in the kitchen. I'm gonna help you. You're gonna make chicken salad? Can you make chicken salad? Why are you cooking? You sing me a song and I'll make chicken salad. Right, okay. Sounds like a deal to me. I heard a rumor that you could kiss better than you can cook, so I'm gonna trust that rumor. And I'm gonna let you sing while I cook. Okay, let's head into the kitchen. I think you'll enjoy this recipe. It's really simple and it's something you can make. I think you can do this. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome to Harris Farm and back to Heart of the Home. I love having you visit the farm. I love having folks stop by and I really love having gospel singers stop by. And today I have a great guest, my friend Barry Scott, that happens to be the ringtone on my phone is here to visit. And you are on the ringtone on what song? We Shall Inherit. We it? Shall Inherit. I love that. Now you did that when you were Doyle Lawson, didn't you? Yes, I did. About yeah, that, that is a great song. And, and it's kind of one of those catchy tunes. When you hear it, you can't wait to hear the whole song. So I don't Can you cook? I've not been told that I can. I think uh, I think actually uh, this might work better. Uh oh, you kiss better <laughs> than you cook. Uh oh. Well, I know you're single, so that that's a good thing, ladies. He can't cook, but he kisses better than he cooks. <laughs> Today he's gonna help me make chicken salad. Um, we've been doing Heart of the Home 18 months now, and it started as a short segment. And kind of like you, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go out. And we're gonna do something a little different. So now we're doing a little bit longer segments, and we're gonna incorporate gospel music with it. I want you to be a guest often, so it'll be We'd fun. We'd love to. Bring, maybe bring the whole band in here someday. Oh, oh that'd be great. Sing to you. I love your mandolin player. Now, he, he is a talented a young musician. man, isn't yeah, he? Yes, yes. yes. And Very Joe talented. is really good on the banjo. And, and James Jones, we all know, is Say probably... No more. <laughs> oh, the best. The best. Now, when you were with Silver Creek, you and James were together how many years? We were together about three years. It was James and I, James Jones, of course, and then Barry Abernathy, who is now with Mountain Heart. But we had our right. band together before we actually went on the road professionally. Yeah. <coughs> and I was ashamed to tell him, I didn't listen to bluegrass music. I only listened I didn't to listen Southern to a Gospel. Lot of it. <laughs> yeah. And, and now I listen to your songs, and I have a 15-year-old. And when you come in, Nick is sitting on the computer, and guess what he's listening to? Barry Scott. That's, so, that's unique for a 15-year-old to be listening oh, to that. Oh, he loves that's, that. That's awesome. But you have made an impact on a 15-year-old, and I well, appreciate I so. that. Thank I you. I appreciate that. Thank you. So thank you. now we're going to make some chicken salad, right. number one, because I heard your tummy growl. It was. <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, living off of a Granny, ap Granny Smith apple for a little while uh -oh, there, so i got to have something that's else. That's good. Now, guys, the ingredients for our chicken salad are chicken breasts that I baked, and we've skinned those and ready to chop those. This is going to be a chunky chicken salad. I don't like grinding it up. I'm really, I like the chunky. We're going to have celery, pecans, pickle relish, and my favorite, and everybody who knows me knows, at my house, the pantry is always full of craisins. Something about the craisins. Plus, they're good antioxidants, and it's a good quick snack. So, but anyway, and, and guys, you know, I never use anything but blue white mayonnaise. <laughs> never. Don't best. care if it's not on sale. Just and you mayonnaise know, is good in I'm general. I'm a bargain shopper, but blue plate doesn't even have to be on sale. Now, Barry, the first thing we've done is I already chopped the celery and the pecans and the pickles. And I put a whole jar of pickle relish okay. and then half a stalk of celery. Do you like celery? Uh, I can eat it. It's not well, my favorite, but well, it, if it's, it's mixed crunchy. in with something else. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we've added our pecans, our pickles, okay. our celery, and then we're going to do the chicken. And we are going to chop it chunky because I just don't like... Um, I want something that's got a little edge on it. And this, you know, you want to feel like you've eaten something besides some mush. So... <laughs> I just do big chunks. I made this last year. Um, the inspirations came over of Pigeon Forge, and we made this. And we did a program on how you can feed a bunch of guys on a budget. We fed nine people for four days for 100 bucks. That was pretty good. That is awesome, yeah. That was pretty good. Now, I know Melton Campbell of the Inspirations loves your music. He loves it, and he always he's asks about guy. you. He's a great he, guy. He's a good young man. Good singer, too. Oh, he is awesome. And that's the kind of thing, you know, you and I... I like to cook, you like to sing, and I showed up one night at your practice with uh, Grab It and Go for your band you sure and baby pizzas. And believe me, it was grabbed and gone. It was grabbed and gone, <laughs> yes, that's right. And uh, I got to hear the whole group for the first time that night in their practice session, and uh, they did a good job. The idea that, honestly, um, I, I don't know how long these boys have been playing, but I know they've done very, very well, and I'm so glad that they connected with you and I think it's wonderful that um, you have brought them under your wing. And I hope that it'll be a success for all of you. Now, guys, we're going to be working on this chicken salad. We're going to feed Barry. And are you going to sing a little bit? I might have to. I think okay. that's, that was the deal, wasn't it? Y'all stay tuned because we'll be right good. back and we may hear a little tune from Barry Scott. We'll Thanks, be right Siri. back now. 
Hi folks, we're back. And Barry promised me he is going to assemble the chicken salad. Yes, this I was am. hard. Now the ingredients were, do you remember the ingredients? Mm, celery, uh, chicken, <laughs> pecan, <laughs> pecans, and Relish. this. And we're going to add the we're craisins. Gonna, we're going to add, gonna that add in the there. craisins. This is my favorite part of this recipe. You're going to add mayonnaise. And what brand does Sherry Martin always use? Blue Plate. You got that right. And I don't <laughs> care what store I'm at, the I'll best. drive five miles to buy Blue Plate. Okay, Barry, go ahead and put some okay. mayonnaise in. And I'm going to put our. How much am I putting in here? Just Honey, it's probably going to take this, most of that mayonnaise okay. for this. So we're going to like some big scoops and, here. And you know, guys, we need to talk about my bowl. I love this bowl. This is a really old salt glazed pottery bowl that I just don't use it often, but man, it is so pretty. Keep, this is gonna look good in that. Just keep going here, huh? Honey, just keep going. Okay. Just keep going. We're gonna have to find somebody to test your theory. You said you can kiss better than you can cook. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, no. I know I can Are make Are we gonna a, take applications? I can, <laughs> I can make a mean uh, cornflake cookie, though, I've been told. Well, so you're I can gonna cook. be back. I, you told me about those cornflake cookies that you make for your children all the time. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're gonna about have to the come bottom back. of the of okay. the jar here. Now you stir this. Use your muscles. I know you go to the gym and work uh, out. Okay. You won't get to work out today because you'll be worn Table out. Table muscle. From, yeah, you'll be worn out from stirring blue plate. I'll try not to get none on you here. Okay, try <laughs> not to. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I think the only ingredient about this you weren't crazy about was um, celery, but hey. Mama used to put it in um, dressing. Like yes, when you and fix I dressing. don't. See, I don't put it in dressing. And I could eat it if it's in if it's hidden in something, but uh -huh. I just don't like to eat celery by itself. Right. Well, it's not one of my favorites. This adds a little bit of a crunch to this. And it's the kind of thing, honestly, it, it makes it go a little bit further. That's a huge bowl, and this was only six chicken breast. So we've got a lot of food for six chicken breast. And you know me, guys, I'm gonna buy the chicken breast on sale, throw them in the freezer. Always, never go to your pantry and not have craisins. Never. I need to add that to mine then. Oh man, they are awesome. I think we need to add the rest of okay. these craisins. That's looking good. Honey, that is looking good. Now some people put apples in theirs. I think my secretary does and uh, Mama Lucy does, but I don't. I just, uh, something, I just like this recipe. And uh, it must be tried and true because every time I cook it, it gets eaten down to I nothing. I don't think I've ever eaten anything that's, that you've cooked cherry that's not good though. Good, like you... thanks, thanks. I like cooking for large families and I said that's the thing when you have a house full of kids. Um, my biggest problem is toning it down and cooking for one or two. That's not any fun. So how are we looking there? Is That's it coming? That's looking great. All right. Now I'm going to get a little tray and we are going to fix these on crackers to serve. And now, did you didn't come to the house this year when the inspirations came, did you? I heard, no, I heard about it. it well, we, we have a meal there for 60 people. And this year, I expect to have you show up. And I don't expect you to show up to kiss anybody there. I want you to come and help us cook. Show up to eat? So, yeah, you can come and eat. And you can come and help us. But um, once a year, we do that. And okay. that's we started doing that at Harris Farm. Mm -hmm. And um, it's hard to believe that this house could feed 60 people, but we do it every year. And now in the new house, we kind of designed the new house to do that. Yeah, I've seen that. It's beautiful. I love Plenty it. Of room. We're going to, next week, I think we're going to do a segment over there and uh, let folks see the new house, too. Although, Harris Farm is my favorite. It's just, uh, the atmosphere here is wonderful. You know, the house was built in 1860. Why you tell me that? That's interesting. Yeah, 1860. It's been around longer than I have, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> It is, um, it's kind of a, the atmosphere here is really good. And there's been a lot of good food cooked in this kitchen. And a lot of hard work. The, the farm always had a lot of hard work. And, um, you know, they this was before tractors, before John Deere. Although now we do have a brand new John Deere out in the barn. Do you? And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, what is that saying? The difference in men and boys is the price of their toys. That's, that's true. Now, mm -hmm. Mary Scott's toys would be amplifiers, <laughs> guitars. What else? Uh, my keyboard. Keyboard. That's keyboard. My thing, my piano. Speaking of, in Spartanburg, somebody told me you did a great thing of um, Go Rest High on That Mountain. Yeah. Vince Gill's one of my one of my heroes, and uh, I love that song, and I did it some with Doyle, and they had a, uh, that college up there is a uh, Steinway-endorsed college, and they had like 10 Steinway, so I got uh -huh. to kind of take my pick. And, oh, wow. So it was. And you uh, love that. So well, that's what we, we had not actually planned to end with that song. We were had actually run out of time, and so, and I knew I had to play at least one piano song. So uh -huh. we ended with that, and it was now, really Now, are we going to tell people the truth that Barry Scott does not read music? Uh, well, that would not be 
Can tell, you raise that would be telling a lot. No, I don't. I don't read music. I never have. I've uh, uh, sometimes I wish that I had taken it. Or mom and dad had, had put me in a uh, set me up with a lady down the street that had given piano lessons mm -hmm. when I was about 11 years old, and uh, I had already could play a little bit then because my sister Brenda uh, plays and she reads music, so she had kind of taught me a little bit, mm -hmm. but I still, you know, couldn't read any music. So I went and for, I guess about a month or so, and I just uh, I felt like I was not, uh, I was disinterested in, I was more advanced than what, you know, one than what she was starting me back in the, the little, the beginner books. Mm -hmm. I know you, that's mm -hmm. where you have to start, but I was right. just, uh, just disinterested, and so I just dropped out and never went back, and then, uh, so, but no, I never did, I just played by ear. My sister went ahead and showed me, you know, what she knew, mm -hmm. but no, to this day, I still don't read music. I just, my God-given talent, I guess, and, and just play and by is. ear, I and mean, so. It is. Honey, I can barely turn the radio on. So when when I turn the radio on, I have a hard time finding the channel. So I could not do yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not do music. But um, I know enough to know that you are one of the best at your craft. You Thank really you. are. Thank you very and, much. Um, and I so appreciate you spending the time coming to visit with me. Now I want I you to taste this chicken salad and tell me if you like it. Remember okay. this one this, this one doesn't have too much celery on it. You're not gonna that. feed me? No, honey, you're gonna <laughs> feed yourself. <laughs> I love you, but I'm not gonna feed you. Well, Barry. Good? Yes. Yes. Yes, very good. Don't talk with your mouthful. No, don't talk with your mouthful. Now, this was simple, something you can do, and you can make and take to the lake with the kids. Are you going to spend some time with the kids this summer? You're going to get yes. to do that? We actually went fishing a couple of days ago, and we are actually talking about going back today. So, good, yeah. good. We're going to talk about the idea that your parents sing, too. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. We're back at Harris Farm. Joined Barry Scott still here, and I'm so glad. Still here. Now I made chicken salad. You make music. Are you going to sing me a song? Yeah, I actually wrote one here just for while we were. I got you inspired did? while oh, we were sitting I'm so here glad. And it's about what now? It's about chicken salad. Is it? Well, yeah. go ahead and sing it to me. Almost heaven, chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper, Georgia. <laughs> now that sounds pretty good, but I think you know you know my favorite song. What is it? Uh, it's got to be something by the inspirations. No, I think it's by Barry Scott. <laughs> we shall inherit. Yeah, you've got it on your ringtone, so I would say I that's do. probably your favorite. I do. I love it. Now, um, when you write songs, I know that you just wrote a song, Standing at Walmart, literally. Walgreens. Oh, Walgreens, you did. That's right. You were standing at Walgreens and wrote a song, and it took you how long? Uh, in, the, in the course of my six-hour shift that I was there, I guess, because I was writing in between checking customers out, uh -huh. so it's, it was kind of a funny story, actually, but... And it's but, a yeah. great song. Well, it's it's turned out to be. A so song we have decided likes. it is God given talent. It is because well, you didn't just that bring I do this would, up. Well, yeah. no, I, I couldn't just do it on my own. So that's yeah. right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And I'm a good cook uh, because Maisel Kemp taught me to be a good cook, and I've learned from people that I was around. Now, have you learned from people in the music industry? I've definitely learned from a lot of. Uh, well, Dole, I definitely right. include him in there with uh, nine years with him, and right. Um, then going back to the. Uh, Southern Gospel Days with uh, singing with the Perrys and right. uh, played piano for Dixie Melody Boys and uh -huh. bass guitar for Gold City. So I've, I've learned uh, a lot uh, in the last 20 years since uh, since high school. And you've made an impact on your children because they sing. It's it's in the bloodline. It is. It's, it's it hard is. to, yeah, it it's uh, the whole Scott family, my dad, my mom, both my sisters, we've all, that's all we've ever, ever done since we were coming to this world, you know, was, right. was sing and play and with my mom and dad and so yeah, my both my daughters uh, both sing. My oldest daughter Courtney is uh, plays clarinet in the high school band, and and uh, when Cassie, my ten year old, she's uh, she amazes me with her uh, vocal ability. Oh, just yes. being able to hear harmony uh, at that age. I never could hear harmony until I was 16, 17 years old, and right. she's been hearing it for. And I know your daddy's proud of her. Dad's pretty proud. I yeah, he's. You. I'm proud yeah. of him. He's my he's my hero. Vince is my musical hero, but my dad, if it wasn't for him, and I wouldn't be playing music at all. You right. know, he's the one that inspired me. What is that you know. song Daddy wrote about Renfro Valley? My dad sings the song. He didn't write it. Oh, but okay. it there's, there's a song called Renfro Valley. I heard Take him me sing back it. to Renfro Valley. Yes. 
Isn't that in Kentucky? It is in Kentucky. They now, have a you barn. You know, coming, coming here to the farm takes you back. And I love to think about history and the past. And, and you know, um, things that were special that aren't special anymore. But Kentucky right. is one of those areas. It's still rural, and it's like Harris Farm. People still farm, and they have cattle, and they can. And they do things that people don't do anymore. And uh, that's one thing I've really loved about Heart of the Home. We remind people how simple life used to be. And um, I'm simple. I'm a little simple-minded sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't do fancy foo recipes. I just don't do that. I do simple things that everybody can do. And everybody loves it, though. And, it's yeah, easy. and I said, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Usually, if I show up at church, folks are looking for what I've cooked. And that's <laughs> a good feeling. It's kind of like your music. When you come out with something new, people really enjoy it. We and, hope uh, so. God wanted us to do. We talked right. about it and felt like that we needed to do the first one, All Gospel, and then we'll venture out into some other stuff later. That's right. That's right. But, and, and when you did, I mean, I, I was ashamed to tell you this. How long has We Shall Inherit been on the market? Uh, well, it's actually been, it was recorded back in, uh, let's see, it's 2002, I think. And I never it's... heard it till six months ago because I didn't listen to that type. I liked the Southern Gospel, right. but not the Bluegrass. So It was on the Gaither video. That's where a lot of people had got to hear it on mm -hmm. the Bluegrass Homecoming, which it's, uh, and it's uh, still 28 on the Singing News chart oh, for yeah. the last, it's, it's not went up or down, so it's stayed at 28 for the last three months. Uh -huh. well, it's 28 for people July. People are listening, and I know we get requests at WLJA. People want to hear it, and uh, and it's it really is the kind of thing that you just, the minute it starts playing, you know this is a good song, and I'm going to enjoy this. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm so proud of you for doing that. Now, you wrote the words and music to that? Wrote the words and music, yes, and uh, we recorded Even though it. you can't, can't <laughs> read music, you wrote, write, yeah, that amazes Yeah, just got me. the tune in my head, and so... Didn't actually pin it and write it down, but uh, uh -huh. just put the put the music together in my head and right. we recorded it with Dole. Right. And what so. instruments do you play? I know you play piano, keyboard. Piano is, is my first love. I've been playing it since I was about nine years old. And uh, bass guitar, my dad bought me my first bass when I was about 10. So uh, that's that's kind of my two things with my band. I'm playing acoustic guitar, playing rhythm. Okay. And I did play some drums in high school, in the high school band, so... but. Uh, Probably well, I, I have to tell you a story. My son traveled with the Inspirations last year, and he'd been on the road with them several days, and I went up to Hiawassee to pick him up. And Nick, and you have to know Nick to understand this, he walked out and he said, Mom, he said, they've taught me to play the mandolin while I was on the road with them. I said, really? He said, yeah. And he said, and you can come back here and buy me one. And I said, I can. <laughs> he said, yeah. And it's only $1,800, but it's only. worth 4000 <laughs> <laughs> And I said, Nicholas, I said, now you've been playing for three days, but he today sits and plays that mandolin to your CDs. Well, thank you for doing and, that. I uh, appreciate it. Um, impact, a, a good impact. And I love to walk in the door and he's, what is that, Dig a Little Deeper, the other song yeah, that you dig wrote? Dig a Little Deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he plays that. So um, I've loved having you here. And thank it's you. Been I'm a pleasure. Being here. It's been a pleasure. Thank and, you for uh, having And we'll us. see each other again, and we'll I be traveling so. some together, and we'll be doing... Really good gospel music. Take care now.